Hi there folks, so welcome back to my channel and for this video I have come back to Glasgow because uh, I have previously been on a, a CNA before because I've just parked next to the Glasgow Necropolis uh, which I will try and tag in the kind of cards up at the top of the video so we'll look out for that because uh, the last time I was here I tried to go and visit Glasgow Cathedral which is just across from where the Necropolis is but they were uh, closing for the, for the day because it's, there was going to be a service on and, and at the moment as well we've got a book in to, connect, to visit so I wasn't able to get in but today I've managed to put myself in for a wee visit so I'm going to head on in at the minute I'm supposed to be there about one o'clock so I've got plenty of time to get myself up there and get myself sorted uh, so I'm going to be heading up in a minute and uh, see if I can get myself in. And before I do head up, uh, if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, then click on the subscriber button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I think it's time to get grab my bag and head on up. So that's Glasgow Cathedral there, which is also known as St Mungo's, St Kentigern's and also the High Kirk of Glasgow. I think within the Church of Scotland they don't actually have any cathedrals. Uh, they would have like Kirks and High Kirks, but because this has always been known as Glasgow Cathedral, that's what people just call it. But across the, the precinct from the cathedral, we've got St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life and Art, uh, which is one of the, the older buildings in the precinct. I'm not too sure if it's open. Because there are some tables sitting outside, so I might try and see, see if I can be nosy there later on. If I can get in, I'll try and see, I'll do my best to see if I can. Then we're going to head down this way because I think my slot for getting in will be soon. And I did forget to mention just, just there that Glasgow Cathedral is actually the start point for the Whithorn Way, which is a long distance walk and pilgrimage from Glasgow Cathedral all the way to Whithorn, which is down in the Friesen Galloway, which is right down in the southwest of Scotland. So uh, I think it goes from Glasgow Cathedral to Paisley Abbey, then from pa the Paisley Abbey to Loch Winnoch, then from Loch Winnoch to Kilwinning, then from Kilwinning it goes down uh, through I think Ayr and Alloway, and all the way down to the Friesen Galloway. So I will do a, a playlist for that if you're interested in maybe following that route. And before I go in, I also want to mention that they actually filmed parts of Outlander here at Glasgow Cathedral. Uh, I think it was uh, be season one, season two that it was used for. I think it was uh, possibly some of the sections that were when they were supposed to be in France. Uh, the films here in the cathedral. So, again, if you're an Outlander fan, this might be somewhere you want to come and stop and explore. Yeah, that's the Necropolis over there, on the raised ground just behind the cathedral itself. And you can just see the, the plant with the statue of John Knox on top.
have to admit that is one of my favourite windows over there, the blue one. Just love the colours on it. You do have to admit this, the architecture on here is amazing. A lot of this is roughly about the same age as the older sections for the Paisley Abbey. And you can see in parts of the ceiling over there, try and raise it up a wee bit, there is some remnants of artwork on the ceiling as well. I'm just going to be heading into the undercroft of the cathedral itself and if you ever go to the University of Glasgow to the main building this is what inspired the cloisters I'll show you that fully in a minute and this spot here in the church is supposed to be the tomb of St Mungo This little altar here is said to mark the location of St Mungo's tomb. I give you a wider shot of the undercroft. That as I was saying, is supposed to have inspired the cloisters at the University of Glasgow. That might be that a wee alcove in there. So it was the crypt that was used for the scenes where they were in the French hospital. Some of the remains of the old stonework that's been saved from other parts of the building. Yeah, unfortunately, the black other aisle is closed just now. I'll at least give a Sneak peek through the door. Okay. That's probably what a lot of medieval churches would have looked like in the past. Painted brightly. You can see some of the, the carved reliefs as well. Well, that's me just come back out of Glasgow Cathedral and it is one of the most iconic buildings in the whole of the city itself. Uh, again, it probably is, it is one of the oldest, like with uh, the Cathedral, the Museum for Religious Life and Proven Lordship, one of the three oldest buildings in the city. So it is jam-packed with history and archaeology and it's definitely somewhere that if you are interested 
and learning maybe a bit more about the history of Glasgow or seeing something a bit more historical. Uh, Glasgow Cathedral is definitely the site that you should come and visit and explore and especially as it does also have the, the Museum for Relig Religious Life, the Proven Lordship and the Acropolis all within like a two minute walking distance of the church itself. So no, it's not just the fact that the church is full of history and archaeology, it is also surrounded by history and a lot of kind of cultural aspects as well so yeah definitely some of it I would definitely definitely recommend coming to visit if you're in Glasgow so hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one bye bye